always been a sports fan, and though I'm a runner, I love watching team sports. If there's a pickup game happening, I'm always eager to jump in. I walked into the gym and I seen the basketballs. So I grabbed the ball, I got a shot up. So I looked back down and I seen a letter. Let's see what it says. You have been proven you are fast, but can you roll, dribble, pass? and score on the hardwood? <laughs> Welcome to wheelchair basketball. <laughs> oh. <Whoa. laughs> Seen the pros do this. <laughs> Once I hopped in the chair and tried to move, I was completely off, and this is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> All of a sudden, the shot goes in. <laughs> He's on one wheel. I'll teach you that later. Right. He's flying past me, going left. He's going right, and this whole time I'm thinking, how is he doing this? That's awesome. <laughs> Yo, it is such a pleasure. My name is Matt Scott. I'm a five-time Paralympian, two-time gold medalist. I can be the best mentor for him. I think Blake is one of the most athletic individuals I've ever seen. So for him to sit in the chair and, and try it out for the first time, it looked like he was struggling a little bit, but it's just because he doesn't have the intangible. I think I can teach him a few things to help him get from point A to point B. How is he making it look so smooth? Shot, buckets. Oh! We're gonna work on that. All right, okay, We're gonna work okay. On that. I have a lot to learn, and I hope I learn fast. Man, that is really, really good. To the basket! The challenge that I have for Blake is I want to build sort of an obstacle course that just goes over all the fundamental skills. I wanted to do all these fundamental skills, complete every action, and in a way that we can tie his sport into it so it feels natural to him. <laughs> you know I'm fast though, right? So, was, bro, so what I do? I, I know that's what, what I you do. do. Speed kills in every sport. Okay, yes, And true. I know you're fast. So the thing is, is that Hand speed in okay. wheelchair basketball is gonna be the best thing. Okay, right? okay. When I'm pushing as fast as I can, yeah. you see I'm, I'm in there. Oh, I'm you're in. You, got, you got shoulders. Yeah. So I'm working on my speed. Yeah. I'm gonna work on my dribble. Yeah. And then I'm gonna work on my shot. Line it up when I get That's there. That's right. Okay? okay. Now you wanna go. And now, you know. Oh, oh. Cause you got some teammates, oh. you know? Cause now you got okay. teammates, right? The challenge at the end of the day is that I have to apply all the drills and skills that Matt has taught me and then try to get up and down the court. And these are things that I would use in a wheelchair basketball game. I'm gonna push as fast as I can and push this ball against the wheel. Okay. And it acts like a conveyor belt. So when you put the pressure against the wheel, yeah. the wheel brings it all the way up to your hand. Okay. Put it in your lap and you're out. Okay. That's perfect. It's coming. Oh! oh. Can I still roll? In the push? Absolutely. Me and you are racing for yeah. the ball. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get there as fast as I yeah. can. Pick it up and get out of here, go. okay? After a couple of tries, I roll it up on the wheel. The wheel rolls it up to me. Throw it. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh, it's all, it's all right. The mistakes happen. The mistakes happen. Without failure, there's no progress. Yes. I encourage people to think, like, when you take an L, mm -hmm. when you have a failure in life, Use that, let it be beneficial to you. Just don't think that you're a failure and walk away from the situation. Don't lose twice. Don't lose twice. Nice and smooth, there you hey. go. There you go. Now bring it to your wheel. There we go. Oh. Now you're off to the races. You're off We're to the off. races. We're off. All right. Roll the ball. That's perfect. Catch that thing. There you go. Oh, Blake, you got oh, it, Oh, look man. at that. Oh. To the basket. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I can see the improvement already. Yeah, right, it's coming along. I fixed that in post, I just had the shot go in. <laughs> Swish, nothing but net. So once I got that, he's like, okay, perfect. 
Let's go to the second drill. All right, man. You ready right. for the next one? Let's do this. Let's do it. Another skill that I want you to learn called a bounce stop. Okay. I want you to dribble to the half court. Okay. Bounce stop. Ooh. Right? Okay. Did you see what okay. I did yeah. there? It was a little tough to remember everything that he taught me from dribbling to, to cutting to moving. I'm hopefully applied to all those things and, and can show that I'm a, I'm a real baller. Accelerate. I'm gonna dribble. I'm gonna bounce stop. Okay. Then after this bounce stop, I'm gonna dribble it, turn, and accelerate. Okay. Then you're done. Bounce, stop, spin, accelerate. You got it. Okay. You got it. Okay, okay. It's a good start. Oh! You got the spin part. You got the spin part. You got the spin part. My wheels are moving. I'm bouncing it. Boom. Both hands. Okay. Got you. When I land, I spin out this way. Spin out this way, but all the way. That's a good scoop. Boom. It's a good scoop. One, One two. two. Bounce the ball. Stop the chair on a dime. Catch the ball and do a spin move. There you go. What do you think? You're out the box, bro. Yeah, right. You're what out you the box. Hey, Let's go. What do you think? You bounce stopped. Yeah. You hit the spin. Now I want you to roll that ball. Ooh. Okay. You got this, Blake. Here we go. Roll the ball. Catch it. Right. Ah! That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> There's so much that goes in. There's a lot. There's a lot. When the pressure is on, you make it happen. I felt like Matt Scott out there, I mean, you man. Look it was like ridiculous. Matt Scott out it there. was amazing. Like, oh. <laughs> Matt just led me through all the drills. Basketball is hard <laughs> as it is right, already. Right. Add a device yeah. and the things of moving the device on top of the like the fluidity of basketball. It's challenge time, bro. Ah, it is challenge time. It's go time. We know the drills. We know the skills. We're going to loop skill one with skill two. Okay. Skill two with skill three. Okay. And then we're going to finish that shot. Boom. The time's time. not going to stop until you make a shot. OK, until the basket goes in. Right. Show me what a pro looks like. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then you're going to go right after me, All OK? Right. In basketball, there's a 24 second shot clock. Okay. You do that in 24 seconds? Okay. Okay. Scoop. Scoop. Yes. See that bounce stop? Let's see that bounce stop? Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Spin. Spin. Set that thing down. Now let's go. Let's go, Blake. Let's go. Once he completes this drill, we got something up our sleeves for him. And we're going to really, really test him. Let's go. Oh, I see. Block, bounce stop. Bro, that's a perfect bounce stop. Hit that spin. Now that roll. The roll's important, bro. The yeah. roll's important. Ugh. Oh, you got it. You got it. Now it's perfect time. Now look at that shot. Look at that shot. Blake, you got it, bro. You Let's got go! it, bro. Let's go. 23-6. Let's go. Bro, you got it. Let's go. You got it. Ask my mentor how you feel like I did. You smashed that challenge. Man, thank you. you I, I felt good about it. I'm proud of you. Thank you. But guess what? What? I've got another challenge for you. You ready for a real game? What? You mean like a real, real game? Don't be nervous. Put me in, coach. I got you. Put me in, OK? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go have some fun. Let's do it. So I did the challenge with Matt, and it was amazing. I had so much fun, and I learned so much. Dude, he actually signed me up. I'm going to play in an official wheelchair basketball game today, and I'm super excited to test all my skills that I learned. And hopefully, I don't disappoint. So right now, we are at a wheelchair basketball clinic put on by the Angel City Sports. It's a sports foundation that helps all adaptive sports. A little me is nervous. I don't want to let my mentor down. Blake is a really enthusiastic guy, and I think he'd be a great teammate. All the things that I've learned from Matt, I'm going to apply all of that today. I think that Blake is going to dominate out here. He had the best mentor that he possibly could have. I want to watch and evaluate to see how he does, but I also want to team up with him because it'd be great to see Blake continue on in wheelchair basketball because he's got a great attitude. Ball coming, ball coming. Me and Matt did the challenge. It went amazing. And then he had a surprise for me and threw me into this. They're going to challenge him, that's for sure. There's some good players out there. I'm playing with some amazing competitors today. 
the competitor in me, when it comes to competition, even though it's new to me, I want to do good. He's already got a gold medalist attitude, a gold medalist mentality. I wanted to equip him with all the skills that he could possibly use in a wheelchair basketball game. We was bumping and scrapping and pushing each other. and It was a very contact, hand-to-hand -hand sport, which I like. Blake is out there playing as hard as he possibly can. He's got a sweat going. That was a tough physical run. My heart's pumping. I see him dribbling up the court, and I make eye contact with him. He passes the ball, makes it seem so seamless. Then once I lay the ball up, the ball goes straight through the hoop. He wasn't trying wheelchair basketball. He was playing wheelchair basketball. Putting him to the challenge and actually seeing those skills come to life, I was so impressed. The way that he approaches sport, with speed being his number one asset, he really used it out there on the fast break. And he used that speed to get to the position that he wanted, and he nailed the shot. I think it was a little bit easier for me because of my disability. I'm a true believer that everything that we go through is for a reason. It doesn't happen just to us, it happens for us. And, and all the things I've been through in my life, being born without legs, I feel like it was preparing me for that moment, being in a chair. Today, I had to play in the scrimmage wheelchair basketball game. It was so much fun, so much energy, and the feeling that I got when I laid the ball up and see the ball through the hoop. Man, it didn't matter if I was missing my legs. It didn't matter if I was in the chair or not. We was out there playing. Blake, his contribution and his performance in that game was way better than I could have predicted. This performance was incredible. Man, it's one of the greatest compliments that anybody could ever give me. If that comes from Matt, that just gives me more confidence. Woo! Nice work, y'all. Nice work. Nice work. But I'm wondering, what else can I try? Yo, this game was crazy. You used everything out there. When you saw a defender, you put the ball in the other hand and you didn't let them steal the ball from you. Man. You saw your teammates and you used that speed that, you, that you know that you have. Matt. Dude, thank you so much Blake, thank you, bro. for teaching me all your techniques. You are a pro and a great mentor. I appreciate everything you did for me today, man. This is awesome.